Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. One more video where we're doing this guy. We're working on this guy again. That's the F-15 Strike Eagle, F-15E. We're turning it into an F-15K. That's from the Republic of Korea Air Force. It's a South Korean F-15. And young Aseo Yarabun, to all my Korean friends out there, thank you for your support. Well, I think it's about time we start painting this thing. I've gotten to the point where I need to start adding some color to this thing so that I can move on with the assembly. And so I'm getting prepared just for that particular task. So, we're going to be painting this stuff with, or this stuff, we're going to be painting this guy with uh, Tamiya's XF91 um, IGN Grey. And uh, I think that's a good color for it. Some callouts call for uh, Gunship Grey. It's a little bit darker. Um, I think it's a little too dark for my liking. Maybe it's the correct color or whatever you want to call it, but I'm going with this stuff, okay? Another thing I'm going to be doing that I don't normally do is I'm going to be thinning it with Mr. Hobby or Mr. Color uh, leveling thinner. Normally I just use plain old lacquer thinner. You know, this stuff, uh, just from my local hardware store. I normally just thin it with that stuff and it does okay. One thing I do find though is my my surface after cleaning after spraying is a little bit rough. It's not perfectly smooth. And that's probably my own fault. I'm probably laying it on a little too dry or it's drying right as it's hitting and that's probably causing that. So, knowing what the problem is, well, it helps you to solve it, right? Anyway, so I'm going to be trying the leveling thinner with this stuff today. And I have one that I opened and one that I didn't. I don't know which one it is. And neither of them have a... Normally I put a little ball in them for shaking them up. Let's see if I can tell which one has been opened and which one hasn't. This looks pretty clean inside. <laughs> so does this one. Okay, so we're just going to call this one number one. And we'll put this one here. And I'm going to put a little ball bearing in it. We got these off of Amazon. Stainless steel ball bearings. Just to help get that pigment shaken up from the bottom. Like Even just as dropping that in, I could tell it didn't hit the glass. Right? And that's because the pigment settles at the bottom. And so, I mean, for the most part, a quick little shake and you're good to go, but, you know, it never hurts to do it right. As you can see, I've got a plethora of parts laid out, ready for painting, and, uh, yeah, because one thing I don't like doing, I don't like mixing up paint to paint two parts and then be done and then the next day I've got to do it all over again because I've progressed. I kind of do, I want to do as much painting of one color as I can in one, one painting session, right? So that's what I'm going for, that's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, I need a measuring cup. Not a measuring cup, a mixing cup. There we go. I will show you guys this so far. Um, I did do some assembly on the these side pod things that go on the F-15Es. Not that you can really see it in the <laughs> because it's black. I masked off my uh, various pod landing gear bay doors. One thing I should think about is this. That should probably be painted first. 
So I think before I actually do the gray, I'm gonna do these, okay? So a little bit change of plan. I need to do these. Now I do have a special color that I have mixed up just for those. I just need to find it. I do have it here somewhere, somewhere in my pile of paints. I just need to locate it. Because I do have quite a few paints all over the place. There it is. This guy right here. This is a mix of the Mr. Excuse me, of the Mr. Color uh, metallic blue green, but this isn't the original blue green. Um, as you can see, there is a difference in these two colors. So what I've done is I've taken the metallic blue green, this one, and I took metallic green, and I mixed it in with this, and I made this color specifically for the F15 because looking at photos, reference photos and stuff like that, it's not blue, it's not green, it's somewhere in between. <laughs> Pardon my rhyme. So, what do I need to do? I need to find the two doors. It's these two guys here. So, I need to paint this side of them because, like I said, I want to do it as one shot. So. First, I'll spray this, and then I will spray the other places. Now what I should do, I'm going to mask this off just to kind of minimize my overspray on it. You guys didn't really want to watch me mask off the border around those, did you? That's why I'm fast forwarding through this. to. Well, so you guys don't have to skip it. It's only a few seconds, so yeehaw. There you go. That's the way it's going to be for this part. Okay, I think that is more than enough. I don't anticipate overspray cold and all the way over here. So. This way. Let's see how thick this is. Have I thinned this enough or do I have to? Oh no, it's pretty thin. I think I put some thinner in here just to um, just to make it because you know I'm really only spraying this stuff. I don't not I don't really have any intentions of brushing this particular color on anything. So, I think oh well, maybe maybe I should. As I started to pour it, I noticed it is pretty thin. So or sorry, I spoke backwards. As I started to pour it, I did notice it is pretty thick. So I'm going to add some thinner to this. leaving paint on the threads. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Paint on the threads. It just bugs me. I know it's not rational. I just don't like it. Okay. 
let's go. I'll change the camera so you can see what I'm doing over here, although it's not going to be too much. Painting cam, hello. Okay, let's do... Oh, that's more than more than enough. Good enough for that side. Change my grip here. This is actually a bit of an unfortunate situation, but we'll explain later. And that's it for the doors. That's all I needed to do just to touch that up. So I'll pour out what I've got left over in here. And we'll clean this out so we can get some gray going. Eventually. Done. Okay. Let's get that back together. Okay, now we're ready for some gray. Let's get rid of this. Okay, here's our gray. And our mixing cup. And I took these off the sprue, so now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do to actually get some color on these. Um, the nub is too small for my clips, so I will use Double set. I'll just use some tape to do that, but let's worry about actually laying some color down on the fuselage. Now, we can remove all our tape. I do have to be a little careful on touching this thing on the sides because I don't have these glued on. They are just simply connected by those little pins that stick in the holes in the sides. Unfortunately, those pins are a precise enough fit that they hold them on pretty good. So there we go. So now what's the problem? What is my problem with this? Why, what's my problem? Well, I need to have the doors on there to cover this up, okay? I wanna make sure this is dry, and they are, they're dry, so. Do I use blue tack? Put a blob of blue tack on there and put the doors on? Do I just use a piece of tape, fold it over on itself? It's probably what I'm going to do. That's what I've done here on the landing bay doors. I've just got a piece of tape underneath of them um, just to keep them in place so that when I spray, um, I don't spray in there and it saves me on a lot of tape. So, yeah. Otherwise, I would have to mask this whole thing off and I don't want to have to do that. So, let's look at our doors. These are dry, already dry, that's nice. So let's get these off of here. You can see just how much prep, how much prep work there is just in getting the pieces ready for paint. Landing the front landing gear bay doors, I gotta remember to paint those. Okay, those need to be painted. Um, but that is the only thing that needs to be painted on this now are those two pieces. The rest of this is all garbage. So what I can do to make it a little easier, let's go bing, bang, Bing, bing, and bong. There we go. And then this piece can just go in the box.
do have a couple of pieces like weapon rails. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need them, but I should paint them just in case. So, yeah. Okay, let's see how these guys fit. Looks like I got some serious nub removal to do. Here, here. These other ones are not nubs, these are to actually attach it. I'm leaning towards having these doors open. Um, well, I guess that's kind of obvious, right? Otherwise, why did I paint it? <laughs> why did I bother painting them if I'm going to have them closed, right? So these guys go like this. Looks like you can actually. Oh, not quite. So I can do that, but there's a gap up top there because of the hinges. And this was the unfortunate part: was that after spray painting the inside, I wound up deciding to just glue the doors on. Um, because the nubs that they put for the hinges prevented me from closing them all the way and I would have just had to spend a lot more time masking the insides of the doors and I really didn't want to do that so in the end I just wound up gluing them on and that's about it so as I mentioned before, I'm going to be using the Mr. Hobby Leveling Thinner. And so, I want to do roughly 50-50 on it. Roughly 50-50 mix. Probably once this is mixed, it's probably going to be way more than I need, but we will see. Can always use more, can always mix more, which is why I got two jars of this stuff, this is just in case. Okay, so I want to go up to about that level there. That's roughly 50-50, nice and thin and liquidy. Yep. Oh no, my pipit fell. Mr. Pippet, where'd you go? There you are. Okay, let's fill up our cup. Make sure it's not, not sticky. All right. About half a cup. Let's just put that there. And let's see. Good flow. Let's go. Hello again. Let's just do these just because they're sitting here in front of me. This is pretty much par for the course, right? You're just laying down your base coat. For the fuselage, I did want to do a little bit of... Just a little bit of weathering, but not really. That's why I go over it like this with kind of a... Uh, a f kind of a first coat and then I went in and did the highlights on the separate little squares so now that I've got kind of a base coat down it's kind of gray now um, I'm gonna start going in kind of panel by panel to fill in those that 
those separate panels make them a little bit lighter, um, but not too much of a difference, just a little bit. And once again, just continuing on, filling in the panels to basically do almost like a second coat, but only on the panels and kind of staying away from the actual panel lines. You notice uh, suddenly everything got brighter as I put on my little headlamps thing that I've got. Um, I've had them for a while, but this is actually the first time I decided to actually use them because the shadow of my airbrush was kind of hindering my view of the model and it was making it hard to see where each panel line was so I decided to finally use it and it helps out a lot. Just continuing on doing that and uh, till we get this particular coat done. Okay, so that's it for the fuselage, at least for now. I'm going to let that dry for a minute and I'll move on to painting a few other things while I let that dry. So, we'll continue on. And we basically just start painting all the little parts and fins and uh, elevators and the tail fans and all the little parts that are going around on the different areas of the plane and just one by one cover on each one with the same color gray at the same time on the fins and the t and the elevators I did the same kind of uh, shading a little bit on them as well, just the same as I did on the fuselage. Just for the sake of continuity, I guess you could say. Yeah. Okay, so we're almost done, just a few more pieces to go, but these little guys, these two little guys, all these little timbits, timbits, <laughs> tidbits that need to be done. And we mustn't forget the canopy, that is an important piece also. These other little guys, we're all dry, that's good, that is a very good thing. So I can try and so I'm trying to do this kind of thing, clip it on there, it ain't gonna work. So those are gonna have to be done another time. These little guys though, I might be able to get away with clipping it there. Yeah, I can still access that. That'll that'll work. That'll work. Do the same with this one right there. So I can still get at that and get some color on that spot. These I want to put onto the plane so that I can paint them as a unit. So let's just uh, free up a couple of clips here and we'll continue on. And 
and so we're beating the canopy now and uh, just continuing on with the little different little tidbits as I said <laughs> not tim bits but tidbits little pieces that needs to have some color um, not sure exactly which ones are going to be used in these but we'll find out probably in the next video okay we are almost done still have to flip the plane over and do the underside and the top looks like it is dry enough now that I can do that so just move a few things out of the way bring this back over and we can start on the underside of the fuselage see these even this this just done this elevator here and it's already dry but I just want it you know I don't like handling too much even though it feels pretty dry I still don't want to press too hard on it lest I put a fingerprint on it because you know dry to the touch and actually cured is can be two different things right so let's flip this boy over and we will continue on Still got lots of paint in the cup, so let's flip this guy over. Let's make sure I got every angle on the top here that I can. All right. And in similar fashion to the top side of the fuselage, just give it a one solid coat as a base and then I'm gonna go in and do the same thing just kind of pointing out the center of each panel separately and kind of highlight them a little bit again I don't want to do a crazy amount like that because as I said before this F-15s are not aircraft carrier planes so they don't get that same kind of crazy marbling effect and stuff like that that those kinds of planes get. So I want the effect to be a little bit subtle. I do want you to be able to see it, but again, just not too harsh. And so, yeah, we we'll just continue on doing that same kind of pattern on here. Okay, so you may have seen or noticed that I kind of did the kind of pre-shadowing or foreshadowing, I don't know what it's called, post-shadowing, a little bit on there, and then kind of went over and flooded a little bit because I want the effect to be a little subtle. I don't want a lot of the blotchy kind of effect. So it is light, it is dry enough to touch. So I want to get the tops of these done now. So I want to install them so that it can do it as one, one actual part of the plane and kind of blend it in. So there we go. So those are on there now so I can paint those and make sure that it's going to match and blend in with the rest of the plane. So let's get to that.
go. I think that matches up pretty good. All right, so that's about it, guys. Um, I do have a couple of other little spot pieces um, that need to be done. I think what I'm going to have to do, though, is just kind of do this, lay this on my table, and paint them one side at a time. Oh, I have these guys. i got to paint these guys. That's what the problem is. See, I just need to put these on. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Let me glue these on. Let me glue these on, and then I can paint them. All right. Glue them on, and then paint them. first one I'm not cleaning up the nub. So it's didn't want to be friendly. Okay. This one's drying. I will paint the first guy. Okay, let's move our plane over here. I'm going to put him down like that. Okay, all right. Uh, where are we here? We're going to switch over to the cam. Just one final little step. I've got to paint the fuel tanks and their attaching pods. And as a last minute thing, I decided to do a second coat on the canopy just to make sure I got full coverage on it. And that's it. So, we've got color on our plane now, and it's looking pretty good. Um, I will say with the leveling thinner, it does feel a little bit smoother than my normal thing. Although, I definitely do have some overspray that's coming off on my fingers. Um, that's kind of par for the course, I think. Um, I'll show you here on the overhead so you can see a little bit better. So, we've got some color variation, not a whole lot, but... I just wanted a little bit and I didn't want to go overboard with it I don't want this thing to look like it's some kind of carrier plane um, this is an f-15 after all these things don't go on aircraft carriers so there we go ta-da we have color and that is good enough for today um, yes um, I will seal this in with a, I'll give it a semi-gloss coat and get that sealed in and uh, we'll work on panel lining and all that fun stuff at another time. So, I'm going to let that cure a little bit though before I really get into it. And that's where I'm going to leave it here for today guys. 
and I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe over there, check out my description box where you'll see links to my Instagram and my Twitter and all that fun stuff and my Twitch. And you can follow me on there and watch me live and all that good stuff. So thank you guys again. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.